Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, being to Ava Louise Murchison about Jane on Apple TV Plus. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I mean, it's exciting. I mean, how is it? How excited is it for you for people to finally see what you worked on? Like, it's pretty crazy, right? You rap, and now people finally get to see Jane, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so crazy uh, seeing it and seeing all the hard work that was put into it. Amazing! It, it's so awesome. What was the audition process like for this? Did you know a lot about the project? Did you know a little, like minimal? Like, I'm just curious about that. I didn't really know um like that this show would be to like um that it was involved with dr jane goodall but i did know like that it was very involved with animals and i really love that because i am an animal lover and really good at imagining what uh so did you audition for the character you got like jane did you is that who you auditioned for yes Okay, no, because sometimes you never know, or sometimes yeah, it's like, like you know, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, um, like people would audition for a different role than they get. That happens a lot. Is there something that you like the most about being an actor and storyteller compared to other things? Do you just love the fact that you get to dive in all these different worlds? Like, is that what you like the most about it? I think so. Yeah, but I also love um, expressing people. Uh, expressing feelings that you know people feel in the world and also all the amazing people I get to meet and uh, for Jane I even got to travel which is such a good experience and I am always uh, so grateful what was one of your favorite things about being part of Jane was it like you said what would you say it was kind of being on a show where the focal point was animals was like the best part about it I think yeah that was definitely one of the best <laughs> parts about it but I also uh really love that I'm part of a show that is going to inspire kids to help save the environment and save animals was there a lot of re once you got the role did you do a lot of research did you go kind of to the library or the store and get a lot of animal books did you do a lot of research on Jane Goodall like I'm just curious was there a lot of research when like even after you booked the role like I'm just curious about that I did um like watch some videos with uh Jane Jane Goodall with chimpanzees and um like I read the scripts and make and made sure that it like made sense and uh yeah I just think it's a really cool show <laughs> what was your favorite thing about playing playing Jane like specifically what was kind of one thing you really enjoyed about this character I really enjoyed doing all the action scenes. It was um, really fun for me, like going like under the table, and, like shooting the the tracker, or even um, even like running from the drone that was filming was super cool. And also, there were some fake stunts, but real stunts. Like I was in Alberta, and I got to go like on a snowmobile, but it wasn't moving. And I was also in a shark cage underwater and I had to learn how to scuba dive. That was super cool. Was it, did you, like, were you told in advance, like all that stuff you just said, did you know you were going to do a lot of those things? Because I feel like you go to the audition, you have the scripts, but did you know what you got yourself into basically? Or did you not know what to expect? <laughs> No, I did not know that I was going to be traveling the world. I mean, like three weeks after I booked the job and I, and I started filming, like I I heard that I was going to like maybe sh shoot in Africa. And I was like, what? I'm going to shoot in Africa? I never knew that. So was, yeah, I didn't know. What was it like working with the cast? Like Mason and everyone, what was that like specifically? It was... I loved um, hanging out with the cast and crew. They were all so lovely, especially um, Mason and Tamara, who plays um, my mom in the show. Uh, they are super great actors, and I'm glad that they were chosen to be in Jane with me. Absolutely. For the people that haven't seen Jane or don't know much about it, without giving too much away, I mean, I feel like, 
we kind of got right into the audition and everything, but like maybe I could have asked this at the beginning. But what can you tell us about Jane? What is it? What it's about, and what we can expect without super big spoilers, Ava Louise. So Jane is about adventure and exploration and compassion for animals. So Jane Garcia, the main character, just goes on like epic missions um, that are imaginary with her best friends, David and her toy chimpanzee, Greybeard. Um, And basically on these missions, they save an endangered animal or learn how to save them and learn cool facts about them. But the whole show is basically just to teach kids why it's important to save the environment and save animals and make a change. Absolutely. Is that one of your favorite things also about being a storyteller that you get to work on these projects that are really, really important? Like that's one of the best things about it, right? Yes, definitely. I love being on a show that is going to make a change for the world. Absolutely. Any fun, cool on-set or off-set moments that you remember that you want to share on Pop Turnative here? Like any any cool stories, anything on-set, off-set that come to mind specifically? Um, when me and Mason tried to write a script, when we tried to write a movie, like, on set, it was a (laughs) horror movie, um, it did not go well, I mean, like, we had, we had reference from the actual Jane script, so we were able to, like, copy all the, like, technical terms, like, um, like, in exterior and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, we didn't finish it, and we were just like, oh, we'll do it next year or whatever. But, yeah, that it did not turn out well. But I'm looking back at it. It's really funny that we actually tried to write a script. It's so funny. There's, yeah, yeah but, then, I mean, you're on the set a lot of times, and there's probably a lot of times where, like, there's some breaks. So it's like, why not write a movie, right? <laughs> yeah, and then we actually tried to get, like, people to start playing um, the roles for our movie, which was really funny. <laughs> oh that, that's really really funny um you know it's funny because you know the show was on apple tv plus and, and apple tv plus have so many amazing tv shows and movies what's it like being part of the apple tv family specifically i am super grateful to be part of the apple tv family i've actually before booking jane i was already on an apple tv show just a small character uh Kiki the Raccoon on Sego Mini Friends. So I was already uh, familiar with Apple, but I think Apple TV, Apple TV Plus is a great um, is a great place for a kids show to be on. They have um, such an amazing selection of things, and I think they are a great like streaming service. Absolutely, and they can check out Jane on Apple TV Plus. Ava Louise, thank you so much for your time. It was great chatting with you. It was great chatting with you. And your Instagram account, people want to keep up to date with everything. Is it just Ava Louise Murchison? Yes. Okay, so they can check it out. I'm sure they just put your name. Even if the handle's a bit different, <laughs> they'll find it, <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. You can catch Ava Louise Murchison as Jane in Jane on Apple TV+. Plus. Until next time, <laughs> this is Ava Louise Murchison and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turn it If. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.